Welcome to Consortium Spotlight. My name is Pat and I'll be your guide and today we are going to explore some of the differences between violin and viola, baroque and modern violin and bow. My name is Patrick and I'll be performing modern violin and viola. Buongiorno, my name is Patrizio. I come from Roma, or Rome, now a part of Italy, uh, 18th century, and I played the violino for my time period. So glad both of you can join us today. Patrick, will you demonstrate the flashy violin part first? That was, <clears throat> or will be, Heinrich Wieniawski from Poland, or the Habsburg monarchy in your time. Okay, maybe general history some other time, but that was his Scherzo Tarantella. Ah, a Tarantella to sweat out the poison of the tarantula spider. Except once the poison from the black widow, also a common spider from Toronto in Italy, not on Terio, once the poison gets into the blood, a good sweat won't wash it out. But let's move on. Patrick, show us something soulful on the viola so we can hear the difference from the violin. I love that low C string. Does the violin have one? No, but it has a high E string that the viola doesn't have. They share three strings in common. Let's hear Patrizio play something on the violin in the 18th century style. Mio Dio, what is that? A chin rest invented by Louis Spohr in the 19th century, so I wouldn't get a crick in my neck. Hmm. No, 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 no. I don't want it. A bit of cloth, please. Okay, I'll take it off. What is this the contraption on the back? That is a shoulder rest, and the first patent was in 1936 by Vladimir Kulich. It helps support the violin, so I can shift up and down. If I need a rest, I'll take a nap. Okay, fine then. And why are the strings so shiny? They are wound in metal for durability and to maintain a consistent pitch. I'm gonna need some guts to be espressivo on the violino. Ah, yes, gut strings like they used to use in the olden days. Got one right here for comparison. We're not going to play with it today because I can't quite get it on right now. This is what they used to look like. So let's tune first, okay? Scusi, scusi. Why are you strings so sharp? Almost as high as in Venezia. I mean uh, Venice. Oh, yes, sharp means higher pitch in musician lingo. I got this one, Patrick. The A tuning reference pitch has gone up over time. One of the exceptions being Venice, where it was already quite high. But most places were lower and went up over time because greater tension on the strings has led to greater projection of sound to be heard by larger and larger audiences. I'll tune it down for you, Patrizio. What kind of clunk a bow is this? It looks like the crown of a sort of, but I thought it was supposed to be just a fad. It was, but it was a step in the evolution of the violin bow over 200 or so years from being shorter and lighter to longer and heavier, finally reaching its standard length of Francois Tort at the end of the 18th century. See, I think I've heard of tort. If I were you, I'd buy a few when they start to look like this. Might be worth something in the future. 
Ah, mille grazie. I'll visit my friend Giovanni in Parigi, uh, Paris. Uh, that is if my time machine back works. Now, I'd stay away from France if I were you. There might be a revolution. Enough history. He already knows too much about the future. Let's stick with the music. Speaking of sticks, I've got a broke bow here for Patrizio to use. Now we will compare two excerpts on violin. First, the opening of Bach's Chacon on modern, and then Baroque-ish violin. generally more sustained on the modern violin with the notes sounding together. Now, another excerpt. Wait, Patrizio, you play it so much differently than I do. Would you like to hear an even more modern version? Heavy metal. What is uh, heavy metal? Glad you asked. like a thousand woodpeckers pecking on my brains. Uh, besides, he wrote it for his uh, first wife, Maria. Have some respect. I'm sorry, it is sad. But Bach was a great rearranger of his own music. And he did love coffee. Thanks for lightening things up a bit, Patrick. But that metal is quite a stretch. Still, I kind of like it. Let's move on to an excerpt from Mozart's Violin Concerto in G Major, the first movement. But please, no metal version this time. Aww. less vibrato, less sustained, and less shifting on the Baroque-ish violin. Scusi, could I hear a bit more of the violin on the viola? So nice. I might have to buy one when I get back to Roma. Patrick, are you taking requests? Now, it is rare that a violinist asks a violist to play something. So yes, absolutely. Well, Henri Vuitton was a famous violinist, and so he was not the first to love the sound of the viola as well as the violin. Uh, Patrick, please take it away. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
On behalf of myself and all the Patricks, thank you for watching this entire video. I hope it was fun and informative. Please check back with this space for more content in the future.